Hello and welcome to this video. Now in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the consistent character storybook. Okay, now in order to access this particular feature, you're going to need to select um, create design. And once you select create design, we're going to choose the designer fast AI image designer. Once you go ahead and you select that, you need to go ahead and select the AI design agents. Now, when you're creating your character or your consistent character storybook, first you have to have a character created, okay? So we've got a couple of options how you can do this. You can use actually the AI image design. You can create it from a prompt and you can get started like that. And we also have, you know, there is a, another feature if you're just creating, you know, 3D and 2D style consistent characters. But for this one, once you've created a character, and I'll show you in personal designs, you can see here some characters here already created, okay? If I scroll down, you'll see quite a few more characters. And here's some more characters, okay? So um, so it's really important. First, you have to have your character created, okay? So go ahead and select under the AI Design Agents Consistent Character Storybook under Step 1. Once we go ahead and we do that, you can see Step 2 is now appeared. So we've got your storybooks and create new storybooks. So these are some of the existing storybooks that have been created. And you can see there's quite a few here that have been done. Okay, and I kind of sh I'll show you. So, if we go ahead, and what we'll do, let's build this out first, and then we can switch to create. So now step two has appeared. So what you have to do here: configure your settings, create consistent character storybook. So we've got a couple of options. If you already have the character created, you can drag and drop the character or browse your your uh, computer's files. Or if you already have it created within Artistly, select choose from library. Now for this particular one, uh, we have this uh, lady here. Okay, so I'm gonna select her as my character that I wanna create consistently. We've got a couple of dimensions to choose from. So for this one, I'm gonna go by four by five. And what you're gonna see here, number of pages. So what will happen, okay? This is how essentially the um, consistent character storybook feature works. We first enter our character who we want consistently to be in our book. And artistically will go ahead and build out not only the story, okay, or the script of the story of the book, but also recreate that character consistently throughout your book, okay, in different scenes and settings. Okay. So where it says number of pages, you can actually select up to a number of 30 pages to choose from. And for each one, essentially we'll have a, a an image created for you. And this is all inclusive. It will create everything and actually do the production for you, okay, of um, the character and the text. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's go ahead and let's select um, 10 pages, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select generate storybook. And what will happen now, uh, once that goes through the processing, um, setting as you'll see now while, while that goes through the processing uh, mode we're going to now be redirected to the personal design section okay now what will happen next what is the next step now okay once you appear on this screen so firstly we have to allow this to be processed and then we shall return okay now we have the images rendered now the next steps what do you do so once your images have now been created simply select consistent character story but can you see this uh so we're in the personal design section you can see in this list here we've got consistent character uh, storybook i'm just going to select that and once that's done we're gonna go ahead and select create flipbook okay once you select create flipbook now you can see these little check boxes have now appeared okay okay so they've appeared select story 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 etc etc if i select one you can see 10 have been selected so uh, this function will recognize um the designs that have been created specifically the project we've just worked on with those 10 images will be automatic automatically selected for us okay because we created um images for 10 pages so if we just do a quick count one two three four eight nine and ten okay so once we've done that you can see create flipbook has now appeared okay this little tab so i'm going to select create flipbook and now you can see it's asking me for a title so i can put the title in there let's just say um uh, let's see Maggie's books 
Maggie's flowers or something like that okay now with this you can actually have this narrated so you can actually have a different variety of language to choose from you can actually select a voice as well okay so you can actually select and preview the voices and see how you want the narrator to sound um, you can actually select upload or generate a template so here you can see these are templates that you can use if we go back you can see generate you can create your own um, template so frame style background theme frame elements so if I go back you can upload your own if you have one but I'm just going to use the one that's already um, within artistly okay ready-made template so it's asking me for front cover and back cover so with this we have a number of options um, how you can create uh, these back covers okay so if I just actually come out of this, let's go ahead and cancel this. So if I go to design um, a, uh, assistants, um, let's go to agents, okay, here, book cover. So under the AI design agents, you do actually have the choice to create the book covers like so, okay? So you can go through the settings and it will create the book cover for you. Okay, but for this, let's go back to personal designs. So just remember, we do have the AI design agents. You can create your book cover like so, okay? Uh, alternatively, uh, if I go to personal designs, we're just going to go and select consistent character storybook, create flipbook, um, select those 10. You can see that will be done for us. Create flipbook. And let's go for one of these templates. Now, front cover, let's just say we have a cover here. Let's just use this as a front cover. So when you create them yourself, you can put your name on there, the author name, etc., etc. Don't need to put. A, you can put a back cover if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave that like so. Or actually, let's just add one as the back as well okay and those are just the very simple steps uh, that you take okay so the covers you can obviously create and once you've got them ready you can see so here we have it is now in progress going to be 22 pages so the entire story okay the entire uh, consistent images have already been done for you so uh, with this flipbook once it has it is now ready and processed uh, not only will you be able to read the flipbook but also you can download it as a pdf so you've got the ability to, ability to have two um, pieces of media content both as the flipbook the interactive flipbook and then you also have the downloadable pdf version okay so we'll give that a few moments and we, we shall return okay and now we have that Flipbook is ready to go. So if I select read, okay, we'll allow that to load. And you can see there's a number of options toggling. Um, you can zoom in and out. You can have it um, full screen. You can actually share it or print it. Okay. So if I go here, you can see the entire story has been created alongside the template we selected. Uh, additionally, uh, with each flip you can see we have our consistent character okay the woman loved her garden she spent many sunny mornings tending towards her beautiful flowers and you can see that throughout so everything's done for us the formatting the text uh, the placement the images etc etc so that will be a 10 okay so in total 22 pages we have those 10 images as well on the back page and then if i just simply close that all we have to do we can download it uh, once you select download, it will actually download as a downloadable PDF. And if I just simply get this like so, okay, if I bring this across, you can see, slightly zoom out so we can see this. We can see our downloadable PDF as well. So you've got both a flipbook and a PDF source there. So I'm just going to close that. And there we have it. And here you can see some other great examples of flipbooks using the consistent character function. Okay. And you can see that as well. There's another great one. Okay. And here we have this example where you can see with the um, cover as well. So it really does, you know, uh, with the text, it will create and formulate uh, the image consistent character design for that particular section of the book. So you've got that level of consistency throughout. So that's how you would use the AI design agents, but more specifically, the consistent character storybook feature.